By using a combination of Avid Media Composer and Avid's Marquee Title Tool, it's easy to create an effect with video inside each character. Navigate to the Tool Sets menu and choose the Basic Animation Tool Set. Click on the Text Tool. Then choose a font and specify a very large font size. Now click in the Canvas area and type your title. Since the title is very large, you will need to scale the canvas area down in order to see what you are typing. Click on the Edit Selection tool to activate your text object. Place the text object off to the right side of the visible picture area. Then turn on the Animation Mode button. Move the Play Indicator to the last frame within the marquee timeline. Then move the text object off to the left side of the visible picture area. Turn off the Animation Mode button. Option click on one of the characters to select it. Press Command A to select all the characters. Hold down the Command key to deselect the first letter. Move over to the Quick Titles Properties window and change the opacity for all the highlighted letters to zero. Navigate to the File menu and choose Save to Bin. After it's done rendering, click on this small square for the opacity parameter to reset the opacity for all the letters. Move back over to the canvas window and hold down the command key to reselect the first letter. Then deselect the next letter. Change the opacity to zero for all the other letters. Repeat this process until you're done with all the other letters. Okay, after you've created all your single characters, you need to edit them to the timeline with an Avid Media Composer. In this case, I'll grab all my titles and drag them to an empty timeline. Use the keyboard shortcut Command-Y so you have enough tracks for each letter. Now stack all the clips on top of each other. Move this monitor icon to the topmost track. Okay, there you go. You've now got your original crawling title. Double click on the first clip to open a nest. Navigate to a bin that contains your media and drag a clip into the V1.2 track that represents the fill. Okay, you'll need to repeat this step for all the other tracks. Now, as an optional step, when you're inside of Avid Marquee, you may want to save a version of your title with just an edge. That will help separate the characters from the background. Okay, that's it. Check it out. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in an Avid Media Composer training class, visit GeniusDV.com.